Welcome to the WBC Arena, and what an atmosphere we have here tonight. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time for our tale of the tape. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He stands an imposing six foot nine inches tall with a reach of 85 inches. And facing him here is this man. Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. Nobody knows who's going to win. You can have an argument for the winner on both sides, but this is that fight. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. The Gypsy King himself, Tyson Fury. He's so big and yet so light on his feet. No one moves around the ring quite like this man. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. This is going to be an intense stare-off before the fight starts. Well, Johnny, anything can and will happen here in boxing. Let's see what happens. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Manchester, England, and standing at six feet nine inches, here is a sensational heavyweight champion of the world known as the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. Fighting out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. What a pleasure it is to be here in this environment. What a venue for this showdown. You know, look at the stars, ex-fighters, ex-champions, ringside. You've got future opponents, past opponents. That's what these fights do. That's what these venues do. Good luck. And that's the opening bell, round one. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. They have no respect for each other's punching power. After so much pre-hype fight and social media drama, I can't believe we're actually in the midst of them fighting. You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this would be like the rabbit in the headlights. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. If you're fine to the counter puncher, you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. He's going to be the first one to get clipped. He just misses with that big right hand. A 
counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Through the hook, didn't land. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Good one. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. You've got a couple of big units there, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drum because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to run. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hot. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? He misses with that jab. Perfect punch. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Hard. You know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They both want the knockout. Just misses with that jab. Nice exchange here from both men. One of these fighters is... This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Know which fighter is winning this bout? That was super tight. Who will be buzzed first? And he misses with the left uppercut. Misses with that jab. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. Be a lot harder. Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. Out of the way of that left hand. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. And he 
he just missed with that left jab. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they've got a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? He's going to be the first one to get clipped. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. This with that jab. Got him with a clean right uppercut. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He takes that jab. Those punches add up. They both want a highlight reel knockout. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. Who's going to be the first one to get caught? Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. He scores with that right uppercut. exchanges from both men in this round. He didn't take that jab well at all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How did you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. Fantastic punch. That one will count. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one.
This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. That was super tight. I... Who will be buzzed first? When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That could be the real difference. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And he fails to score with that left hook. Give us a second to catch our breath. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. Fighter's sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You've got to ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, Tyson Fury just got rocked. Do you believe this? I don't believe what we're seeing here. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split, dude. And there's the bell for round eight. That punch lands. And they're down, trying to make it up before 10 as the referee continues the count. One, two, three, four, five. Usyk might go down here, what an upset. generalship nowhere to run nowhere to hide there's a big difference between Usyk got out of the way that right hook Big Ukrainian in big trouble. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. A chance to make history. Trying to just weather this tornado coming at him. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged.
just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. What a punch. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Oh my, the Ukrainian has been rattled. Heavyweight champion is down! One, two, three, four, five, six. Final ten seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. What would you tell this guy, Johnny? He's got to do something different. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Great round, great. And here comes the 10th round. And at some point, the corner needs to decide we have to protect our fight. And there it is, the knockdown punch we knew was coming. has been rattled. We've never seen Alexander Usyk hurt like this before. Oh, and Tyson Fury just got rocked. This could be it. Tyson Fury, one of the great heavyweight champions. And there's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Yeah! It was as close as we thought it was, and this fight is a split decision win. A split decision, you know what? I feel sorry for the loser because heart and soul was laid out right there. Everything was left in the ring. There's no regrets, and we had a good time as well. They did the work, we enjoyed the action. Split decision, totally agree with it. You never know, we might see it all over again.